K here, and I am back with an awesome bag review. <laughs> so take a look at this beautiful La Sport Sac Mini North South Tote. If I tell you the struggle that I had to get this beautiful bag in my possession, will you believe me? <laughs> So I have become obsessed with the Sports Stacks Mini North South totes to the point that I want all of them. And I know that I cannot get all of them, but it doesn't stop me from wanting all of them. Now this beauty right here is a special one, okay? If you look on the Sports Sacks USA website, you will not find this La Sports Sack Mini North South tote in the color Bella Black. You know, I was strolling on Instagram one day <laughs> and I saw a beautiful photo of this lady and I'll go ahead and post it right here. <laughs> And I immediately became obsessed with finding her bag. And so I went on La Sport Sex Japan website and I knew instantly that it would be there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and insert right here the fun I had scrolling through the many choices on La Sport Sex Japan website. And all I did was just, you know, Google it. I Googled La Sport Sex Japan website and I was able to find all of these bags. Now, I cannot purchase all of these bags <laughs> because you cannot purchase from the Japan website. So I had to dig into my mind and come up with some ideas because I wanted this bag, y'all. And it has quickly become my favorite mini North South tote and my favorite just bag to carry. But how I got my hands on it is I went on eBay and there are some Japanese sellers who are selling the sports sack mini north south totes not this particular one but other ones and so i went to one of their listings and i asked a question because you know how you can ask questions on any of the products so i asked two of the ebay sellers if they wouldn't mind listing this mini north south tote in bella black one of the sellers instantly and when i say instantly i mean in the next minute posted it posted it for 160 dollars plus 22 dollars shipping and i bought it right away because that's how much i wanted this bag and the second seller didn't post their listing until the next day and when that second seller posted their listing it was significantly cheaper it was 94 dollars 20 dollars shipping so one of the bags came out to $198 with tax and everything, and the other bag came out to $128, I wanna say. So I canceled the first order, took the second order, and thank God everything worked out right. And when you pay that $20 shipping for Japan, it's lightning fast, y'all. I got this bag within the same week I bought it. So I am very impressed. And both of the sellers were extremely friendly and very nice. And so I, it was so easy for me to cancel with one and buy with the other. <laughs> the one that I bought from the second time even said, oh, wow, you canceled from the other person? Feels bad for them, but it's good for me. <laughs> I thought that was funny. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the details of this beautiful bag. Let me go ahead and take a look at my clock and make sure I still have time. Yeah, I got some time. <laughs> so here's the bag, y'all. What I love about the mini North South tote is the top handles. Now, if you remember in my last mini North South tote video for that leopard, tawny leopard print bag that I got, the handles were really floppy and even the strap was really floppy. And when I say floppy, the strap was silkier. The handles were silkier, but this is just up my alley because they're nice and stiff. They can stand up on their own. Very reminiscent to my Mickey Doodle tote. I love the straps and the handle on there. And you know what? I realized as I'm saying this, that these things that I'm mentioning is me being extra. <laughs> And just me being picky, the average person won't care. But 
for some reason I care and I wish I didn't. So I wanna go ahead and show you all that this mini North South tote, even though it's small, it can hold all of my essentials, everything I need. And honestly, it's made me think, why do I even have bigger bags? Because why am I toting around a whole bunch of stuff that I don't necessarily need throughout my day? And so that's what this bag has taught me. So we've got the Lesporsec trim, and I noticed upon like staring at it intently <laughs> that the Lesporsec name is glittered. Can you all see that? There's little sparkles on the Lesporsec name. Might be hard to tell. I'm using my, my iPhone, I'm not sure, but this is the star of the show. This patent leather look for the material. This is what caught my eye. This is so beautiful. I, it has made me really look into all types of brands that offer patent leather because I love this so much. And I don't know why this obsession started with patent leather, but I am here for it. <laughs> so we've got this lovely one inch strap that is adjustable and on a swivel and is attached to the D rings on the side. Plastic hardware, which I think is fitting for this bag. I love it. And we also have the trim all the way bordering, all the way around the back. I like this. I love that because that's what most totes have is a trim like that. And so we also have a zipper. I know some totes don't even have a zipper closure, but La Sportset has given us a zipper closure and I love it. There is a zipper tail, which makes it so easy to go inside, open the bag and enjoy what you have placed in there, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Wait a minute, I forgot something. Y'all, I wanted to share that when La Sport Sac has patterns and prints, they often hide the La Sport Sac name somewhere in the pattern. And I got it, I got it, y'all. So it says La Sport Sac right here. It's kind of like embossed in there or engraved in there, I'm not quite sure. Definitely not engraved, it's not metal, Natalie. <laughs> but I can see the little sports sack, all the name all the way around the bag. I love it. I love little details like that. Okay, so now let's get into the zipper, the front zipper, which is like a flat pocket. What I have in there are my keys. And I also have, oh, my little car starter. And y'all, that fits perfectly in the front here. Let me go ahead and put it right back in. Easy grab for me, easy quick grab for me. And I just love it. Oh, just so beautiful. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this bag. Okay, so now, and in the back, there is no zipper. There's just a trim that I showed earlier. I love that for this bag. Okay, you could also take off the one inch strap and I think I will do that so that I can just freely turn the bag and show you all the inside. So now I am going to unzip it and y'all the zippers are so beautifully done. They're the Japanese Le Sport Sac zippers. Very, very smooth. Again, I feel like this is different from the USA brand because their zippers, you can feel every indention of the letter, the sports sack, and you can feel a little metal piece sticking off the top. I don't understand it, but it's true. <laughs> so this is what it looks like inside. And what I'm gonna do is start taking things out. I wonder, let me put the bag like this and see. I might guys... have to lift it up a little bit so you all can see. That's how everything is situated in there, so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out things, okay? So you all can see what I have in here. The first thing I'm pulling out is my Lug Met, oh, my Lug Metro. I always accidentally show my ID. <laughs> but my Lug Metro in the color Boho Floral Black, and I love this. I love the pattern placement. I got everything about it. Love it. This is my wallet. And then of course, I've got my phone kind of sitting in here horizontally. Next, I have this lug tackle piece. It's the smallest one in the set, and it's a set of four. I also got the magenta as well. I love this. When I saw this presented on QVC, I really wanted it, 
but I didn't purchase it from QVC. I went on ahead on Lug Life and purchased it because I had some credit. I had ordered the Lug Alpine and the threading was coming undone. So I had to file another claim, but ended up picking these up in place of that. And so this is amazing. I love the fact that it's completely flat if I want it to be, and it doesn't have the quilting. And since it doesn't have the quilting, it's not as puffy as say like the little mini choo-choo. So the little mini choo-choo has that depth to it because it is quilted and it is more rectangular. And so this just is a slim little sleeve that just slides right in. It's perfect, <laughs> it's perfect for this okay, bag. Okay y'all, so I realized that I did not show the interior of this little piece here that's part of a four piece set called the Lug Taco. So we've got this beautiful gunmetal zipper. We've got the little loops on the side, which means you can attach this to your bags using a clip. But what I love is that the inside is lined in this beautiful lining and it says Lug Taco. Now I've got all my usual, usual little makeup items in here. I've got my little lippy. Carmex, I've got Ricola, <laughs> foldable scissors, and I also have some nail clippers down in here. But this is just an amazing little piece and I did not want to not mention that. <laughs> all right, and then next, that's all I have on top. So those were the three things that I had on top. And now let's keep going. Next, I have on the side here, my hand sanitizer. So I opted to have my spray hand sanitizer instead of clipping it on the side. Beautiful. I also have on the side my little Hello Kitty. I put some mints in here. I love this container. And further down, I have my lotion. Now let me show you what it looks like inside. And I love how I have everything like kind of put in there in such a way where it keeps its shape. I love that. Of course, y'all know I cannot live without the Le Sporsex Wear Cosmetic. Inside, I've got some earbuds, deodorant. I even squashed my tissues in there so it doesn't take up any more space in my bag. It's with this mini North South tote. I also have my charging cord and charging box. I have a little pill case in here as well. Y'all, I got everything. I got <laughs> a little sore throat lozenger. I've got a Band-Aid in here along with some ointment. I've got everything that I need with me. And so that's why I love this size bag. Now, let me show you the tags I have in the pocket that's on the sides of the bag, on the front and the back of the bag rather. So it says mini North South toe. It actually says Bella Noor. So I guess the Noor would be black. And here are the other tags. I'm definitely keeping this beauty, not sending it nowhere. <laughs> not sending it back nowhere. Okay, and then I have the Lug Pen and Camo Midnight. Love this pen. Now on the other side, the other uh, slip pocket, I've got a plastic bag like to have that with me. And of course, I've got my Sanrio characters pouch. Inside of here, I've got a little mini notebook for taking notes. And then I also have coupons. <sighs> y'all, let me put everything back, but let me first show you all the interior. Y'all already know what I'm gonna say, take a look. Beautiful light pink interior. Thank you so much. I'm telling you all because they want to give us these black interiors and I'm not here. I'm not here for it. I don't want no black interior. I want to be able to look in my bag and I want to smile. I want to see things in my bag, you know? I want to see what I got in there. <laughs> so thank you, Liz Forsack, for this wonderful light pink interior. I love it. You know, especially with a black bag, it is so important to have that lighter interior. And so I'm not a fan of the dark one. They've got a couple up now on the Sports Sack USA website and the bags are beautiful, but some of them have that dark interior and I just don't like it. <laughs> and now for the pros and the cons of this wonderful little treat of a bag. 
The pros are how beautiful it looks. It is shiny, it is patent leather like, <laughs> and the top handles of course make it a pro. The one inch strap that's on a swivel, just how sleek it looks when you carry it, how slender it is. I love, 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 love this bag. And as for the cons, I have absolutely no cons for this bag. I do, however, have a con for the sports sack in general. <laughs> And that is, please offer whatever you offer to, on the La Sport Sac Japan website to the La Sport Sac USA website. Please and thank you. <laughs> Y'all, I purchased the cutest bag charm for this bag. And this is it. It was on Poshmark. Yes, it was on Poshmark. I could not resist. It is so cute. And... It is Lesport Sac. Can you believe it? When I saw it, I said, oh my gosh, that is perfect for Valentine's Day. I'm going to go ahead. I added this little kind of like ball chain so that I could clip it very easily to my strap because I didn't want it on the side of the bag. I really wanted it on the front of the bag because to me, it is such a showpiece. It is a Stunner. And if it flips to the other side, it's okay because it says La Sports Set. It's a little puffer heart and it is adorable. Look at that, y'all. Could it get any better? <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching. I really appreciate it. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you and have a wonderful Valentine's Day.